today's threat. Nashville, happy to report. Saw the sun coming up. You have a great blue sky out there. Good yeah. weather in Tennessee. All right. Now, we have had uh, not only Mississippi, Alabama now seeing the stronger thunderstorms. We have had reports of hail in Mississippi with that one cell gen that lasted a good, what, hour and a half? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And Shreveport, already I saw some reports of hail and some mm. wind damage coming out of there. Now, look, you had another storm coming on in, and this is the kind of day you're going to have. Multiple rounds of severe thunderstorms. All right. So we do have a tornado watch until 10 and multiple severe thunderstorm watches. So that means that, you know, we could see tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings within this area. Yeah, watch means be ready. Have a way to get your warnings. Is your phone set up to go off? Do you have your weather radios turned on and ready to go? Make sure you have multiple ways to get those warnings today. All right, you can see some of that rain-cooled air coming south. Yes, you can. Look at here, that. Right? Yeah. That's real nice. Yeah. So that's going to stabilize yeah. the atmosphere. So yeah. you wouldn't necessarily say, okay, we're going to have storms develop there. Even though right. that's where we have a lot of instability, we need the daytime heating to Right, help where us. you have some stable air, you might still get storms, but they'll be elevated and often those are maybe some smaller hail-producing kind of storms here but to really you know watch for all the ingredients coming together you look for where we have instability just along and south of the front yes so here we go this is at the surface you see winds coming in by the way everything converging look at the winds converging along that front yeah but at the if surface. you yeah. look at um are we going to have any twisting we do have some winds you know the direction changing mm -hmm. with height which could cause severe weather yes and so we're going to be watching for the risk of rotating supercells today and by the way rotating supercells can also cause hail so you always think you always think tornado but hail is yeah. also a risk and we've been watching that so far this morning it's been one of the biggest risks uh, around uh, Brundage Cleo and you fall until 7 30 this cell coming in probably has some wind with it since it has that sort of backward C shape just like that yeah and by the way our winds with our severe thunderstorm are going to be at 58 miles an hour or higher. That's when they actually warn on these cells. So those could be damaging winds, you know, and now severe another one uh, just, just to the in. north of that. Yeah. yeah, sorry. So watching the cell, that top edge, also some hail is possible in there as well. Everything is generally moving east and, you know, with this pattern that we're in and, you know, we get repeated rounds of this. So you might not, you know, just have one severe thunderstorm warning today. It could be multiple. And it's going to last anywhere from Texas all the way to the uh, Alabama or so they should say the Florida Georgia line. All right. So today we watch the storms develop. We put something on. This is the forecast radar and we put on here the tornado, tornado parameter. Take Taking in all the potential ingredients and looking at possible and likely. Those are the colors in yellow and red, red being likely. So do you see zones where have some areas in red outlined? Um, do we have thunderstorms co-located with that where we have yep. the, you know, sort of the, the best ingredients in the atmosphere to create tornadoes? It's possible. It is yeah. possible. And as you see, yeah. going through the day, again, you're going to get the enhancement yeah. from that upper level low. And as these cells fire up, um, you know, it could turn severe for a lot of us, Jim. Yeah. But into the weekend, it clears out. It does. We'll finally be rid of